Good morning, team. James here with Megawatt with an update on what happened last night. How did the batteries hold up? How did the solar hold up? Was I able to continue to run things all night long? Well, the answer is yes, but there was a wrinkle. There was roughly 60 mile an hour gust of wind last night, and it sounded crazy. But Megawatt is a 53,000 pound beast of a piece of equipment, handled it just fine. So this morning, woke up with roughly 77% battery left, and Around 8.30 or so, the consumption rate at that point showed I had nearly four days of battery power left. But what happens when you change that to turn on the air conditioner or turn on something that has a high electrical demand? Well, let me show you. As you can see here, when I turn on one of the air conditioners, the time to empty goes down to about a day and a half, which is still aligned with what I told you yesterday of two and a half days worth of consumption. Now, I'll have another update for you this afternoon. But if the sun does pop out today in between the downpour, that's just more energy that will pour into those batteries and have even more capacity to last even longer. I want to know more about your solar setups. How do you use your solar? Are you pole to pole? Do you need enough power to be able to run your air conditioners going down the road between destinations? Are you intending to do a lot of boondocking? Ask the questions, put your comments below, let me know about your systems, and let me know how I can help. See you in the campground.